All right, let's do this one quickly. Um, I was just thinking about it, so it's on the tip of my tongue. But Solus Humans Organic Portals is the name because they're like a portal for um, the higher dimensional energy beings to come through, to summarize. Okay, so five types, variations I've noticed over the last several years. I thought finally, okay, this is enough to put my own little video together. So there's the OP, how to tell the difference, you know. That's what I'm going to say in this video, the different energy feeling. The OP, when their energy hits you, is either shocking, um, shockingly brutish, like a blob, or like a wall, uh, the RP's energy, because remember they all have to depress you to second dimensional state to get you on the surface to be able to start attaching and uh, they take you out of the higher dimensional dream space and it's like a lower dimensionaling thing they do to you, they sort of make you come to the surface of yourself and they organic portalize you and that's when the energy stealing really starts on the nervous system inserting of abhorrent vibrations and uh, viruses worms all sorts of things you know it's just like IT Com information technology computer stuff okay so the RP's energy is different to the OP the just normal organic portal they're dumber slower dimmer the RPs, also I think they're part of the Human Advent, check that title video. Um, <clears throat> and it's near the Eschaton, you know, it's right when the robots have come around and this last evolution of the Matrix has occurred into the Eschaton and its robotic portals, RP. And how to tell the difference is that uh, they're more finesse in how they, when they uh, start their... Uh, you know, psychic attacks, they're more finessing, uh, and their wave of, let's call it, oppression, or compression, well, either way, the wave that sort of squashes you to the surface, um, comes over you more like, I described the OPs one as more of a, like a wall, a blob feeling, or a pressure more, the RP, the, there's all pressure, so rewind the video, whatever I described the OP's ones as, there's three ways I described the energy. The RP will feel more like a slow, static, dissonant wave, not like a blob or a wall hitting you, like an OP. So the RP feels to me more like, um, and it's more finessing, and they'll feel more like a like dissonant wave coming over. And it's more like technocic. I made this, that's why I started the video, because I made up a word. Yes, yeah, so that's how you can tell I'm a sold human. Um, <laughs> tech, I'm kidding there, kind of. Um, it's like a, a technocic, and I don't mean techno as in the music either. So, um, technocic sound in the wave that comes over you to oppress, depress you, and it's a kind of sound like the Transformers in the movie when they transform, you know that? Um, also, uh, what was the other sound I was thinking of? Um, I guess the internet sound is a technocic sound, you know, that screeching, and if you've heard the sound of Earth, in space compared to the other planets. So I think you get the idea. That's more a technocic sound, the RPs emanate in their depressive, oppressive wave. Then you have the negative souled human. And, you know, theirs is always an attack of negativity. Um, and it's very acidic. They're always very acidic as well. Now they're sold, so um, you just have to remember that all the factors that that means and it does mean more complexity and it can be hard to tell but it's not because they're always negative and um, you know in a lot of pain they'll be very infected they're on their 
de-resonancing path. They're not in resonancing to amalgamate, amalgaman type of uh, energy or anything, some kind of golden energy or anything. They're going the opposite way out of epitomization of resonance over lives, through lives. Anyway, not as relevant as what else I should be saying. So yeah, it's just more easy to tell because it's always negative, but it will be a sold human, so it's different. Look, when I see an RP in vision, it's it's like in shaman vision or something, and third eye stuff, right? It's not like they actually, if you cut them open, their bodies will contain metal, okay? This is, it's like dimensional vision where you can see an RP and differentiate it from an OP, or behaviorally differentiate them, which is what I'm trying to help you guys do, because that's the easiest way if you don't have, let's call it shaman vision, or like, you know, third eye vision or anything. Um, so ISH is, um, this is the one that, you know, you actually have a chance of awakening. The negative one is, is the, the negative soul human is too spinning downward. The, 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 the pace of downward momentum uh, into OP state is you know, too great for you to bother to stop, in my opinion. And OPs, you can't wake up. RPs are interesting. We're going to talk more about RPs, because they're the evolution. They're the evolutionary piece here at the eschaton at the end of history, and I think it's the human advent. And the OP thing is an older thing. I think it's even in the animals, and it's like, they're just the stabilizers and backdrops of the morphogenic field. That's all that they are, OPs, really. Okay, so the ISH, <clears throat> uh, the inured, inured, you know, the movie Matrix, how they use the word inured, I-N-U-R-E-D. Inured means like uh, entranced, hypnotized, enticed, taken over by something. You know, they're, they're completely given themselves over to the system, so to speak. Now, the new, and it's a sold human, right? Because we're not talking about OP right now. They're obviously always completely given themselves over. They're, they can not be, they can be like out in the woods, but still be an NSH, you know? So I, an ISH, uh, you know, a new and sold human is going to be like a very system person. But it's a soul human, so this is the one that you have the most chance of awakening or helping. And this is what we actually, this is the grey line, you know, in between the black and the white. This is the grey midline. And so you can still, you got a chance to pull them into the family of light, so to speak, instead of letting their decline into the family of dark go. And so the the inured soul human you can still sort of help. And then this is one that recently came to me, uh, very recently came to me, the idea of a death portal. And I only recently on a YouTube channel called Destroy the Universe, um, and he has also an energy similar to me, um, <clears throat> which is uh, Indigo System Buster Energy, and that's that. what I presume the title of his YouTube channel, Destroy the Universe, really means that he's already inherently taken into account that it's organic Paul universe that we're trying to quote-unquote destroy. Actually, it's like we're trying to sort of rip apart society to insert new code. But yeah, they call us indigo system busters or busting their systems. You know, you need to throw a spanner in the works of the uh, of the machine, so to speak, to get it to stop for a minute to reorchestrate it. That's what it's like on planet Earth right now. Okay, so the death portal came to me because someone commented under his video a, a movie called They Live, and I went and watched that, and I haven't. I don't think I've seen it before. I think I've seen parts of it before. Um, you know, it seems like an old movie uh, from the 80s or 90s or something, I think, or early 2000s. Older anyway. The movie's called They Live, and 
in that, when he puts on these special glasses, he starts seeing all these beings that are like OPs, or they're, they're like OPs that have taken over this planet, and they're like emanating a frequency, keeping everyone in frequency control, and the parallels to our lives today are, are there if you're a, a seer, you know, if you can just understand things pretty easily. You'll, you'll see it straight away, all the, the similarities and parallels to our actual everyday lives. And especially when you understand the organic portal theme in reality, and it's an ism. Do you understand why I'm breaking it up like this? It's not just that there are OP soulless humans. That's the start of the idea, but you, you, you cut this thing up, you know? Like, you cut up everything else to inspect the bits. That's why we take psychedelics to cut our mind up a little and inspect the bits. <laughs> anyway, the death portal came to me. Because um, I, I started seeing or realizing in that way more. Like, uh, it gave me a new vision. Now I'm always adopting new what I call shaman visions and that's not just like a vision in a night in a psychedelic trip that's a vision that stays with me or like a telepathy or something or a telekinesis or something that stays with me some sort of ability and it stays with you and if you keep accessing it it, it stays alive for you you know it's something that you can do and access and so recently, um, you know, this came to me after this movie, this sort of new vision, and it's only little flashes. <laughs> it's like when he puts it on his glasses, it's kind of similar to that. Um, and it's like, I didn't see them that way before, but then it's, it's like, it's just a new vibration. It's just a new radio channel I've received, if you want to think of it that way. So you can better understand. This new shaman vision is like I can tune into a new radio channel. Now it's not a whole new dimension, it's just a frequency, a new frequency, not a whole new dimension, okay? Because a dimension is a world within a world, and it's something more than just a variation of light, like a, a frequency. So this new shaman vision of the death portal vision, after I watch the movie They Live, now gives me this ability to see a flash. <laughs> And it's like a flash of pretty similar to how he sees them when he puts on the glasses in the movie. Um, and, you know, or maybe I'm just associating that with that frequency. Because, and that's pretty much what's happening. But because what's happening is that there's a certain OP out there. <coughs> and I used to think it was the NSH, but I don't think so. Um... I don't think it is actually, because I think it's like an OP in such decay that uh, it could be the difference between entropy and the DP could be just full atrophy. Um, it could, let's see if I can describe it another way, because I haven't thought this deep into this video. We're at the depths. So. so the feeling is just the difference. The differentiation to all of these is a much more abhorrent vibration. It's not the screech and the screel of the RP. It's not the pushy, blobbish, sluggish, fattish sort of OP energy vibe. And it's not the negative, negative, fucking sold human. They're just annoying, like, different. You'll get to know the vibe. And the inured one is, like, you know, innocent and dumb a bit. And they are sold human. They're on the edge, you know. They can, they're, some t they're mostly trying to push uh, for the light. But they're just, like, a bit dumb on how to do that. Because they haven't had any master teach them or something, you know. 
do you know what I mean? They're just still like they're not sure and they're on the edge. So their energy is much more Shen, you know, much more Shen energy, like uh, aura and aura energy, innocent sort of energy, that kind of energy. But the death portal is like. You sit next to them and you're in decay. Your nervous system, you have to, I get like 10 chi shocks a fucking second. <laughs> a chi shock is where you suddenly have a, a spasm in, and the chi is pushing through blocks in your body. You can watch Montak Chia, and he even tells you Master Montak Chia tells you all about that in one of his videos, so I'm not crazy. This is what happens, it just it pulses through you, that's what chi does, it's chi energy, it's thermodynamic, it's fifth dimensional, it is like field energy flowing through you, through blocks. Now the DP just blocks you so much because their energy is so low and very, very thick. It's OP energy with a death boost. <laughs> yeah, have a, a death boost. There. They seem to be uh, radical sugar addicts, these ones, often too. Um, it's hard to associate that, because that has to be observational. And from my observation, um, from healing sessions, from just in public, I'm going to put that in there, that I'm pretty sure they're taking on much more sugar, so the vibrations of the DP, the death portal, are much more abhorrent, lower, thicker. It's it's like the OP, but worse. And <clears throat> you sit there next to them, because an OP can be like so dim and dumb that they're sort of just kind of happy. It's the happy ignorance. They can be, you know, ignorance uh, is bliss, that saying. They can be in that. Until you as a sold human annoy them with your complexity and you make them become a agent of the matrix and morph into an agent of the matrix. But the DP is just always, it's like a negative human with a, with a terribly acidic OP. <laughs> just, it's, it's, I'm going to say it's a different state. Um, you know, they've got the acidity of the NSH. <laughs> And they've got the the lunkish um, thickness of the OP, but it's like a di they're much more in decay. I would have to say it's like the difference between atrophy and entropy or something. <clears throat> it's like yeah, I hope I've differentiated that enough. I think I've done a good enough job for you to be able to understand um, to go out into the world now and feel these vibrational differences. Okay, so that's five, isn't it? OP one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Five types or variations of organic portal ism, spiritless humans and spirits incarnate on behalf of soul, therefore soulless humans. Benjamin Kaumberg, www.consciousazine.com. I'll probably talk on the death portals more as I experience them more in other videos. See ya!